Here's more wrestling news for March 6, 2023. And we're kicking off with AEW Revolution, as there were plenty of stars on the show, but two big names from WWE were also backstage. On Instagram, Soraya shared a post revealing that WWE Hall of Famers the Bella Twins were at Revolution, saying that the band is back together with a picture of the trio and Renee Paquette. The Bellas, Soraya, and Renee have been close friends for some time and were a part of Total Divas at one point or another, and that friendship has clearly stood the test of time despite none of the four working with WWE anymore. At last night's Revolution show, AEW World Tag Team Champions The Guns made their first title defense on pay-per-view since winning the gold earlier this year. Given the importance of the match, Austin and Colton Gunn wanted to be 100% focused on their opponents for the bout and had an interesting way of making sure this happened. Shortly before the match, Austin Gunn took to Twitter to share a message that had been handed to fans at Revolution, threatening that the fan would be removed for certain chants. Phrases like ass boys, daddy's favorite, who's your daddy, and booty boys were just some of the phrases off limits to fans, but as we heard at Revolution, not everyone followed those rules. While this is obviously just part of the gun's characters, wrestling chants can often be an issue, and WWE recently had to censor a f Roman chant aimed at the tribal chief during an episode of SmackDown in Montreal. Despite fans refusing to cater to their whims, the guns retain their titles in a fatal four-way tag team match, and have you ever been told what not to chant at an AEW or WWE event? Let us know if you have in the comments below. Since being aligned with Mr. McMahon in late 2021, Austin Theory has been considered the future of WWE, but as of late, the reigning US champion has had a different moniker in mind. After regaining the Star Spangled title at SummerSlam 2022, Theory, as well as Corey Graves on commentary, began calling Theory not the future, but the now, which may mean problems for WWE. During the latest episode of the Brotherly Love Wrestling Podcast, Theory was accused of ripping off the nickname from the indie tag team of Vic Delicious and Hale Collins, who claim they have had a trademark on the now since 2007. On the podcast, Delicious and Collins said that as soon as they heard the phrase be used on WWE programming, they contacted each other and pointed out that they have been the now for the past 15 years. The pair even went on to say that there is nothing lower in this profession than WWE stealing the phrase from them, and it is a complete lack of creativity, originality, and effort. Whether WWE really did steal the term from the indie tag team, or if this is just coincidence, that'll be difficult to prove. But if the now can prove an infringement on their trademark, then their next match could be in a courtroom, not the ring. We mentioned that Austin Theory began being pushed hard once he aligned with Vince McMahon, but in July 2022, things changed for both the boss and the young superstar. It was almost immediately after McMahon retired from WWE that Theory's booking changed, as he would go on a losing streak and come up short in his Money in the Bank cash-in. Many at the time thought that Triple H, WWE's new head of talent and creative, was intentionally burying Theory, who he didn't consider a future top star, but that is not the case at all. Speaking with Kevin Kellum, Theory shot down rumors about Triple H intentionally burying him, stating, The internet will always talk, I think we all know that. There was a time when I lost the Money in the Bank briefcase and my career was over. Young 25-year-old Austin Theory, it's all over. Whatever, but yeah, there's always, how was it working with Mr. McMahon? How was it working with Triple H? Is it better for you? Is it worse? Man, it's great. Working with Mr. McMahon, it was wild. It was expect the unexpected. I never knew what was gonna happen. It has been reported that WWE always planned on Theory's failed cash-in, which has unlocked a more vicious side to the US champion, and one WWE source has said that Theory is in a better place now than where he was before McMahon's retirement. For someone who is allegedly being buried, Theory is in his second reign as US Champion and is expected to start a WrestleMania program with John Cena tonight. And the future continues to look bright for him, even with Triple H in charge. It was earlier this year that Tony Khan announced the much-anticipated AEW untelevised live events, or as the company is calling them, AEW House Rules. The first House Rules show will take place on March 18th at the Hobart Arena in Troy, Ohio, and the promotion is certainly attempting to put their best foot forward for the event. 
John Moxley even had to cancel an overseas event to be available for the show, but as Sammy Guevara explained to Muscle Man Malcolm, he's not interested in wrestling off of TV. Guevara added that he's trying not to have bumps, and if he's going to take bumps, he wants to make sure fans around the world get to see just how tough he is. At this time, names announced for the show include Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli, Britt Baker, Darby Allin, Orange Cassidy, and others, but if the Spanish God gets his way, he'll be taking the night off on March 18th. It was in late 2019 that John Morrison returned to WWE after an eight-year absence, and he spent the vast majority of his run with the company aligned with The Miz. When the A-lister turned on Morrison in August 2021, the two never had a chance to feud, as Miz was announced for Dancing with the Stars, and Morrison was released that November. On the Wrestling Perspective podcast, Morrison was asked about possibly returning, and while he didn't reject the idea, he did speak about there being dream matches yet to be had with people outside WWE. Right now, Morrison is the MLW National Openweight Champion, and ultimately, it'll be Triple H's call as to whether the Shaman of Sexy ever gets another run in WWE. When AEW launched one of the promotion's first factions was the Nightmare Factory, a group which consisted of young stars from Cody Rhodes and QT Marshall's Nightmare Factory Training Center. After Rhodes was attacked by the group, the stable simply became The Factory, but whatever name you prefer, fans won't be seeing this stable anymore. When a fan tweeted QT Marshall, expressing their desire to see The Factory again, he responded that given the amount of hate directed at The Factory from experts in wrestling, the difficult decision was made for the group to disband. Marshall said that the group had some great times together and asked fans to keep supporting the individual members, but for now, AEW's factory is no more. For years, Mustafa Ali has shown a ton of potential as part of WWE's roster, but despite once being in line for a run as WWE Champion, his direction has been aimless for a long time. Being the leader of the critically panned Retribution stable did Ali no favors, but now things could be changing for the high flyer. On Twitter, WWE posted a clip of Ali debuting a new gimmick as someone who likes to enlighten the audience with his Mustafa motivation. Ali introduced this character while crashing a WWE VIP meet and greet session conducted by Dolph Ziggler and was even escorted out of the premises by security for his actions. Where this goes for Ali remains to be seen, but at least he is doing something, which is more than can be said for many superstars on the roster. And what do you make to this latest character for the former leader of Retribution? SmackDown News Now as last week's show saw the blue brand fill a lot in on the road to WrestleMania 39, and that meant that some ideas originally planned had to be changed. Originally, Knox was supposed to team with Natalya in a tag team match against Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey, but with the latter injured, that match was changed to a singles match between Knox and Baszler. The Queen of Spades made quick work of Knox, and Sean Ross Sapp reports that there was supposed to be a segment backstage of the Welsh superstar having her knee iced in the medical room, but that was cut. Tegan Knox has struggled to gain momentum since returning to WWE, and her return has arguably been handled the worst of everyone who's come back, and who knows what, if anything, is in store for her. We've got some sad news now from a former Impact star next, as Impact alum Larry D has lost his home in a tragic fire. On Twitter, Larry broke the news but said that he, his wife, their four children, and their pets were all able to escape the blaze without suffering any injuries. We lost our home to a house fire tonight, everything gone. I'm for the first time at a loss for words, and I do not know where to start. Thankfully, our dog and cats were saved and recovered. Long road for my wife, our four kids, and I. I love you all. Tia for positive in prayers. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up for the former Impact star by Larry's ex-wife, Amanda Caswell, who is the mother to two of Larry's children, and it is commendable that Amanda is trying so hard to help despite their relationship ending. The page reads, Hi, my name is Amanda Caswell. I started this GoFundMe page to help my ex-husband, Larry Jones, and his wife, Paige Jones. Together, we share a 14-year-old daughter and a 12-year-old son. Paige has a 15-year-old daughter from her previous relationship, and they have a 6-year-old daughter together. They've just lost their home to a fire. They've lost everything and will be starting from scratch. They have no clothes, no furniture, and no toys for their baby. 10,000 isn't nearly enough, but it is enough to get started. 
Please help me help them rebuild. Every little bit will be appreciated. God bless. That page has already raised over half of its $10,000 goal, and for wrestlers, the idea of getting to sit at home with their kids is a comforting thought during their time on the road, and we are sending our best to Larry and his family at this unfortunate time. And we're ending today with Ruby Soho, who came up short in the AEW Women's World Championship Triple Threat match at Revolution, which has caused the tattooed wrestler to snap. Post-match, Solo attacked Jamie Hayter and has aligned herself with Soraya and Tony Storm. And with the numbers advantage, the trio are looking to dominate the likes of Hayter, Britt Baker, and every other woman in AEW.